The Supreme Court denied Florida's request to reinstate the Protection of Children Act. It bans children from drag shows or any adult live performance that features sexual or lewd conduct. Uh, News Channel 8's Annie Mapp reports. If you don't want to come to a drag show, you don't got to come to a drag show. Joey Brooks has been a drag performer for over 30 years. Nothing better than seeing uh, somebody coming out looking like Dolly Parton or Liza Minnelli or especially Cher. A 6-3 to three Supreme Court vote this week will allow him to once again show off his talents in front of fans under the age of 18. So many families bring their children in because they wanted to expose them and show them what this was and this wasn't a bad thing and they actually would give uh, the children a dollar and have them go up there and tip me. The Protection of Children Act was signed into law by Governor Ron DeSantis earlier this year and created penalties for restaurants or venues that allow children into live adult performances with sexual or lewd conduct. The governor's office sent aid on your side a statement responding to the Supreme Court ruling saying quote, while we are disappointed in this particular ruling, the Supreme Court did not opine on the merits of our law protecting children from sexualized adult life performances. This case is still pending appeal at the 11th Circuit, and we expect this law to be upheld on the merits. The law caused organizers of Tampa's Pride on the River to cancel their event this year as it featured live drag performances. The ruling on that would have taken away our liquor licenses forever. That would have taken away a lot of our rights, what we could have done for rights for assembly. That was Annie Mapp reporting. Now, the president of Tampa Pride tells Annie that they are on track to bring Pride on the River back this year.